Well, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to just recite some Austin Powers quotes. I've got the imdb.com database thing here, and uh, here we go. Jimi Hendrix, deceased, drugs. Janis Joplin, deceased, alcohol. Mama Cass, deceased, ham sandwich. Do you like your quasi-futuristic clothes, Mr. Powers? I designed them myself. Why must I be surrounded by frickin' idiots? Uh, shall we shag now? I can't do the English. Shall we shag now or shag later? How do you like to do it? Do you like to wash up first? You know, top and tails? Whore's bath. Personally, before I'm on the job, I like to give my undercarriage a little bit of a How's your father? Some sake, Mr. Cunningham? Sake it to me, baby! Well, my, free, sweet, my friend Sweet Jay took me over to the video arcade in town, right? And they don't speak English there. So Jay got into a fight and he's all, Quit hassling me because I don't speak French or whatever. And then this guy said something in Paris talk and I'm like, Just back off. And they're all like, Get out. And we're like, Make me. It was cool. It's no hassle, shh, but shh, I'm shh, All I'm, I'm saying shh, there's gonna get shh, I'm shh, I'm just shh, wood, shh, knock knock, who's there, shh, but, let me tell you a story about a man named shh, shh, even before you start, there was a preemptive shh, just know that I have a whole bag of shh, with your name on it. I've been throw, <laughs> I've been frozen for 30 years, I gotta see if my bits and pieces are still working. That ain't no woman, it's a man, man. Mr. Powers, I would never have sex with you, ever. If you were the last man on Earth, and I was the last woman on Earth, and the future of the human race depended on our having sex, simply for procreation, I still would not have sex with you. What's your point, Vanessa? What say you, we go out in town? Oh, I can't do it. What say... <laughs> what say you... We go out in the town and swing, baby, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my underground lair. I have gathered here before me the world's deadliest assassins, and yet each of you has failed to kill Austin Powers. That makes me angry, and when Dr. Evil gets angry, angry, Mr. Biggle Bigglesworth gets upset. And when Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset, people die! I'm gonna get you, Austin Powers. It's frickin' freezing in here, Mr. Bigglesworth. She's a village bicycle. Everyone's had a ride. That's Dr. Evil's cat. How can you tell? I never forget a pussy, cat. One Swedish made penis enlarger pump. Oh, <laughs> that's not mine. One credit card receipt for Swedish made penis enlarger pump signed by Austin Powers. I'm telling you, it's not mine, baby. It's not mine. One credit card, one warranty card for Swedish made penis and larger pump filled out by Austin Powers. I don't even know what that is, this is. This sort of thing isn't my bag, baby. One book, Swedish made, Swedish, one book, Swedish made penis and larger pumps and me. This sort of thing is my bag, baby, by Austin Powers. Look, I know I'm being neurotic, but I can't shake off this suspicious, suspicious feeling about that Italian secretary. You know, Miss Vagina. I don't want to sound paranoid, but I've had some bad relationships in the past, and I have been known to be jealous. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry, baby. You're right to be suspicious. I shagged her. What? I shagged her rotten, baby. Yeah. I don't believe you, Austin. I mean, she was repellent. Saucer of milk, table two. Meow. Well, did you use protection? Of course, I had my 9mm automatic. You know what I meant. Did you use a condom? No, sailors. Only sailors use condoms, baby. Not in the 90s, Austin. Well, they should, those filthy beggars. They go from port to port. The details of my life are quite inconsequential. Very well, where do I begin? My father was a relentlessly self-improving boulangerie owner from Belgium with low-grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. 
My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. My father would womanize, he would drink, he would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy, the sort of general malaise that only the genius possess in the insane lament. My childhood was typical, summers in Rangoon, luge lessons. In the spring we'd make meat helmets. When I was insolent, I was placed in a burlap sack and beaten with reeds, pretty standard, really. At the age of 12, I received my first scribe. At the age of 14, a Zoroastrian named Vilma ritualistically shaved my testicles. There really is nothing like a shorn scrotum. It's breathtaking. I, I highly suggest you try it. Scott, I want you to be d meet Daddy's nemesis, Austin Powers. What? Are you feeding him? You don't, Why don't you just kill him? Oh, I have an even better idea. I'm going to place him in an easily escapable situation involving an overly, logic, overly, overly elaborate and exotic death. All right, guard, with the unnecessarily slow... <laughs> All right, guard, begin the unnecessarily slow-moving dip, dipping mechanism. Close the tank! Wait, aren't you going to even watch him die? They could get away. No, 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 I'm going to leave them alone and not actually witness them dying. I'm just going to assume it all went to plan. What? I have a gun in my room. You give me five seconds, I'll get it. I'll come back down here, boom, I'll blow their brains out. Scott, you just don't get it. Do ya? You don't. <laughs> You shot me! You shot me right in the arm! Gentlemen, I have a plan. It's called blackmail. The royal family of Britain are the, mon are the wealthiest landowners in the world. Either the royal family pays us an exorbitant amount of money, or we could make it seem that Prince Charles has had an affair outside of marriage and therefore would have to divorce. Prince Charles did have an affair. He admitted it, and they are now divorced. Right. People, you have to tell me these things, okay? I've been frozen for 30 frickin' years. Throw me a frickin' bone here. I'm the boss. Need the info, okay? Okay, no problem. Here's my second plan. Back in the 60s, I had a weather-changing device, weather-changing machine, that was, in essence, a sophisticated heat beam which we called a laser. Using these lasers, we punched a hole in the protective atmosphere around the Earth, which we scientists call the ozone layer. Slowly but surely, ultraviolet light would pour in, increasing the risk of skin cancer, that is, unless the world pays us a hefty ransom. That also has already happened. Shit. Oh, hell, let's just do what we always do. Hijack some nuclear weapons and hold the world hostage. Yeah, yeah. Good, gentlemen. It has come to my attention that a breakaway republic, Russian republic called Kerblakistan, will be transferring a nuclear warhead to the United Nations in a few days. Here's the plan. We'll get the warhead and hold the world for ransom for one million dollars. <throat> Don't you think we should ask for more than a million dollars? A million dollars isn't exactly that much, that isn't a lot of money these days. Virtucon alone makes over nine billion dollars a year. Really? That's a lot of money. Okay, then we will hold the world ransom for one hundred billion dollars. I was thinking I like animals. Maybe I'd become a vet. An evil vet? No, maybe like work at a petting zoo. An evil petting zoo? You always do that! I just think like he hates me. I really think he wants to kill me. He doesn't really want to kill you. Sometimes we just say that. No, actually, the boy really is quite astute. I really am trying to kill him, but so far unsuccessfully. He's quite wily like his old man. Patty O'Brien. <laughs> Paddy O'Brien, an ex-Irish assassin, his trademark? A superstitious man, he leaves a tiny keepsake on every victim he kills. Scotland Yard would love to get their hands on that piece of evidence. Aye, 
They're always after me lucky charms. What? Why does everyone always laugh when I say that? They are after me lucky charms. What? It's a television commercial with this cartoon leprechaun and all the children trying to chase him. Hey, leprechaun, leprechaun man, we just want to get your lucky charms. Oh, and then these little tiny pieces of marshmallow just stuck in the cereal. So when kids eat them, they think, ooh, this is candy, I'm having fun. Name, Austin Danger Powers. Sex, yes please. This is my happening, uh, this is my happening and it freaks me out. I can't do the Austin Powers rail. Judo cha. Not the time to lose one's head, no. That's not the way to get ahead in life, no. It's a shame he wasn't more headstrong, hmm. He'll never be the head of a major corporation. I'm <laughs> doing Dr. Evil, oops. He'll never be the head of a major corporation. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, I can't do that. Always wanting to have fun, Austin. That's you in a nutshell. No, this is me in a nutshell. Oh, help! I'm in a nutshell. How did I get into this great big nutshell? Look at the size of this great big, big bloody nutshell. What sort of shell has a nut like this? This is crazy. So, Mr. Evil. No. Oh, <laughs> God. So, Mr. Evil. It's Dr. Evil. I didn't spend six years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Thank you very much. You know, I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Now, evidently, my cycloptic colleague informed me that they that cannot be done. Uh, would I remind you... Would you remind me what I pay you people for, honestly? Throw me a bone here. What do we have? Sea bass. Right. They are mutated sea bass. Are they ill-tempered? Absolutely. Well, that's a start. That's not your mother, it's a man, baby! That really hurt. I'm gonna have a lump there, you idiot. Who throws a shoe? Honestly, you fight like a woman. Actually, my name is Austin Powers. Danger is my middle name. Does that make you horny? Do I make you horny? Randy, do I make you horny, baby? Yeah, do I? I hate you! I hate you! I wish I was never, never artificially created in a lab. Scott, that hurts daddy when you say that, honestly. In Japan, men come first and women come second. Well, sometimes not at all, baby. Austin, the Cold War is over. Finally, those capitalist pigs will pay for their crimes, eh, comrades? Eh? Austin, we won. Oh, smashing, groovy, yay, capitalism. Allow myself to introduce myself. I like to see girls of that caliber. By caliber, of course, I mean I'm referring to the size of their gun barrels and the high quality of their character. Two meanings, caliber, it's a homonym. Forget it. I won't bite hard. My god, Vanessa's got a fabulous body. I bet you she shags like a minx. How do I tell them that because of the unfreezing process I have no inner monologue? I hope I didn't say that out loud just now. Mr. Powers, my job is to acclimatize you to the 90s. You know, a lot's changed since 1967. No doubt, love. But as long as people are having promiscuous sex with many anonymous partners without protection, while at the same time experimenting with mind-expanding mind drugs in a consequence-free environment, I'll be sound as a pound. Only two things scare me, and one of them is nuclear war. What's the other, Austin? Excuse me? What's the other thing that scares you? Carnies. Circus folk, nomads, you know. Smell like cabbage, small hands. No, you're right to be suspicious. I shagged her. What? I shagged her rotten, baby. Yeah. Finally, we come to my number two man. His name is number two. Well, no offense, but if there is a man, she looks like she was beaten with an ugly stick. I think you're shagadelic, baby. You're switched on. You're smashing. 
Smashing baby. When the whip when the ship comes comes a rockin', don't come a knockin', baby. It's freedom, baby, yeah. There's nothing <laughs> There's nothing as pathetic as an aging hipster. What exactly do you do? What exactly do you do, Mr. Number Two? That's my business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the little boy's room. Yeah, and I can't believe Liberace was gay. I mean, women loved him. I didn't see that one coming. Woo, that's one crazy get, crazy get up there, mister. Are you in a show? No, actually, I'm English. Oh, I'm sorry. Come again? A lot of vagina. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just not getting this. It sounded like your name was a lot of, um... Never mind. Remember when we froze your semen? You said if it didn't look like you were coming back, we should try to create an heir so a part of you could live forever? Oh, sure. Well, after a couple of years, we got a little impatient. Dr. Evil, I would like for you to meet your son. My son? Yeah! Scott! Can't do it. Hello, Scott. Hi. I'm your father, Dr. Evil. I haven't seen you my whole life, and now you show up and you just expect a relationship? I hate you. What? Can I have a hug? No. No. Give me a hug. No way. Come on, let's go, Pronto. What are you doing? I'm with it. I'm hip. Well, don't look at me like I'm frickin' Frankenstein. Come here and give your father a hug. Well, get away from me, you lazy-eyed psycho. Hug, hug, hug. Wait, Vanessa, I can explain. You see, I was looking for Dr. Evil when these fembots came out and s smoke started coming out of their jumblies. So I started to work my mojo to counter their mojo when we got cross mojonations and their heads started exploding. Seventeen. Hit me. You have seventeen, sir. I like to live dangerously. Twenty-one. Very good, sir. Five. I'll stay. I suggest you hit, sir. I also like to live dangerously. Twenty beat your five, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Well, I must admit, cards aren't really my bag, baby. Who does number two work for? Who does number two work for? Yeah, that's it. You showed that turd who's boss. <coughs> Jesus Christ, boy, what'd you eat? Who are these people? The shouting is a temporary side effect of the unfreezing. Yes, I'm having difficulty controlling the volume of my voice. I can't do it. I demand the sum of one million dollars. One more peep out of you and you'll be grounded, mister, and I'm not joking. Let's begin. How dare you break wind before me? Oh, I'm sorry, baby, I didn't know it was your turn. It seems the tables have turned again, Dr. Evil. Not really. Kill the little bastard, see if I care. But, Dad, we just had a breakthrough in group... I had the group liquidated, you little shit. They were insolent. Allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. Baseball, cold showers. No. <laughs> Baseball, cold showers. Baseball, cold showers. Margaret Thatcher naked on a cold day. Margaret Thatcher naked on a cold day. Excuse me, you didn't happen to see anything at all. Pardon me for being rude, it was not me, it was my food. It just popped up to say hello and now it's gone back down below. Send in the fem- SEND IN THE FEMBOTS! I can't do her either. Uh... Son, wouldn't you like to see what daddy does for a living? Blow me. What? Show me. We have some newcomers here today. No. <laughs> we have some newcomers here today. Please say hello to Scott and his fa father, Dr. Evil. Evil? 
Evil, actually. Dr. Evil. Hi, everybody. Dr. Evil, do you really expect them to pay? No, Mr. Powers. I expect them to die. This is Frau Farbesina, founder and leader of the militant wing of the Salvation Army. Good God, he's back. In many ways, Big Bob, Big Bob's big boy never left, sir. He's always offered the same high-quality meals at competitive prices. Shut up. Oh, behave! Over the last 30 years, Virtucon has grown by leaps and bounds. About 15 years ago, we changed from volatile chemicals to the communications industry. We own co cable companies in 38 states. In addition to our cable holdings, we own a steel mill in Cleve Cleveland, shipping in Texas, oil refineries in Seattle, and a factory in Chicago that makes miniature models of factories. Why take the escalator when we have a perfectly good canoe right here? Relax, Vanessa. Don't have a thrombo. 